and she wrapped him in swallowing clothes and laid him in the manger because there was no room for him in the end. Well, you know something? There wasn't. Okay? There wasn't. And I should know because I'm the innkeeper. No, seriously, did any of you stop and think for one second about what I was going through that day? No, no, you didn't. You just read one little verse in the Bible and just jump to the blues just like you always do. Don't you? Well, here's a little synopsis about what my day was like for those of you who care. It all started with that stinking decree from Caesar Augustus. Here comes a decree that all the world should be taxed. Now, he could have taxed everybody in the city where they were currently living, you know, like a normal person. But no, he's broken. So what does he do? He makes everybody go back to the city of their lineage. Why? I'll tell you why. Because he's broken. And Romans don't care how much they complicate your life. <laughs> do you have any idea how many Jews have a lineage that traces back to Bethlehem? Do you? Do you? Do you? A lot! So here I am in Bethlehem of Judea, in an inn full of a bunch of wandering Jews. You know, when I was a kid, my rabbi used to tell me the story about the Jews wandering in the wilderness with the serpents. You remember that story? An entire generation of Jews murdered for complaining. Now, when I heard that as a kid, I thought, wow, taking out an entire generation for complaining? Don't you think that's a little overkill? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. I just didn't see the logic behind that decision. But you know what? After being an innkeeper for nearly 20 years, I'm starting to see the logic behind that decision. There is nothing on this planet more irritating than a bunch of complaining Jews. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? The food is too warm, the water is too cold, the air is too hot. You do know you're in the Middle East. <laughs> so here, amidst of all this sea of endless complaining, here comes the young couple. I can see that they traveled a great journey. I can see that she was expecting it by the looks of her. She was getting close. <laughs> I understood the situation. Okay, fine, fine. Maybe I could have handled the situation just a little bit better. Maybe I could have been a little less irritated. Maybe I could have listened more and not interrupted him so much. Maybe I should have slammed the door in his face so I'm get lost, you know. We all got stuff we want to rewrite and do over. No, look, you gotta understand, I wanted to help him out. I really did. But there was nothing I could do. And I wasn't gonna have him wander in the street all night. I mean, you should have seen her. She was. Great, child. <laughs> but it was like I could do it. All I had was a stable. Oh, all right, but, but, you want me to say it? But, okay. I'm sorry I made the lady great with child give birth in the barn. I know. It's not the ideal place for delivering a baby, but it's all I can do. Now, some time had passed, and I had heard that some princess from Babylon was showing up. And they're looking for a place to stay. I can tell you one thing. They ain't staying here. <laughs> 